Good morning. So we continue verse 14. From Shrishi Yivanapa Kuzumanjali. So I'll read the, uh, I will read the verse and then I'll continue. O Queen of Vrindavana, ever since some Manjari named Rupa filled my eyes with light in Vrajabhumi, I have strongly desired to see the red lack on your lotus feet. Shri Rupa Goswami has given the world sublime scientific rasa scriptures. <laughs> Books like Bhakti Rasmrta Bhakti Rasmrta Sindhu Bhakti Rasa Amrita So Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu and Ujvala Nilamani in which he taught practicing devotees the truth about rasa spiritual flavors prema love of God and sadhana, devotional practice. Again, the three subjects were? Right? So, the three subjects are rasa, spiritual flavors, prema, love of God, and sadhana, devotional practice. Sadhana, <coughs> So we can see the role of Rupa Goswami how important in the life of devotees and through the instructions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Rupa Goswami wrote this famous book Bhakti Rasa Amrita Siddhu so this is the ocean of Bhakti ocean of Amrita nectar because pure bhakti is a pure nectar and this is the book which is most important book which is describing rasa sweet mellow which is coming in relationship in loving relationship then he is speaking about sadhana and he is speaking about prem, like a goal, ultimate, final goal. All other books which Acharyas after him was writing are based on Bhakti Rasa Amrita Sindhu. When Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu appears, Jiva Goswami immediately wrote his commentary on Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Immediately. 
Because he understood, no one can understand this. And he gave his commentaries to help devotees to go deeper in this subject. But Rupa Goswami wrote this base, and in this book, everything what is necessary to understand what is rasa, to attain rasa, to practice different kind of practice, especially Vajibha and Rabha, and to attain the goal, the prema, is expressed, but in hints. Because he left to the others to expand and explain more and more and more and more. So Jiva Goswami took this book, took these remnants of Rupa Goswami, and he gave the commentaries according to the time, circumstances, and candidates in that period. Then after that, different acharyas were writing, but for all of them, Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu is the basic ground. Vishwana Chakriya Thakur also wrote his commentary on Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. And ultimately, <coughs> Bhakti Vinoda, no, not ultimately, but Bhakti Vinoda Thakur also write Jaiva Dharma, like his commentary on the commentary of Vishwan Chakra Thakur, on the commentary of Jiva Goswami, and on the commentary of Rupa Goswami. So the most essential books of our Acharyas are based on this Bhakti, Rasa, Amrita, and Bhakti. And finally, Srila Prabhupada gave the summary because originally this book is so, is a huge, it's huge, I don't know how many volumes are actually, but it's a huge, a half meter or something like this. <laughs> but Prabhupada made the essence, nectar of devotion. He called this book nectar of devotion. And he tried also, according to the time, circumstances and candidates, to explain what is really bhakti, what is the prema, how to attain bhakti, what are the different relationships. One very interesting point is that Rupa Goswami explained different rasas, but he took a just little space of this book to explain Madhuri He didn't want to explain explicitly. And he wrote another book specifically focused on Madhuri Rasa. Why I'm speaking like this? Because we should enter in the mood and the feelings and the thoughts of Acharyas, how they are expressing these sublime truths and at the same time they are giving inspirations for the next generation that they continue according to the time, circumstances and candidates to explain bhakti, rasa, prema and this beautiful sadhana how to attain this relationship. But only by reading Bhakti Rasa again, it's very difficult to enter what is the essence and why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu really appears. So we need again we need the help of those who understand the core of his heart, what he really wants to say. And then Raghunath Das Goswami 
is the person who is Prayojan Guru and who is very clearly, very openly, is speaking what is the ultimate goal. From all these bhakti, rasa, amrita, sin. Because it's the vast, vast ocean and we can be lost in that ocean. But he is giving one pointy direction. Mm-hmm. So, by listening, reading, meditating on Ravuna's words and his feeling of Manjuri Bhav, we can try to practice this Bhav, which is now available. According to the time, mm-hmm. circumstances, mm-hmm. and candidates. Mm-hmm. Somehow it's happened that we are these candidates. And the teachers <laughs> were giving it according to their realization. And the teachers according to their realization. Mm-hmm. But the base book, base scripture, is Bhakti Rasa. And all other scriptures are written based on that. Mm-hmm. Are they speaking directly? or they are speaking just one part of this book. It doesn't matter, but they are all based on Bhakti Rasamrita and many, many references which our writers are repeating are from Rupa Goswami. Mm-hmm. So this is very important book and uh, we should try at least not to learn philosophy. We will not understand it. (laughs) But we should scrutinize the essence. And our Gurudev is even more specific, more one-pointed. He wants to give us the essence of the essence of the essence. So this is the most easiest process, actually. Why should I go all around, all around, around, when I have such a good fortune, in many fortunes, that someone is giving everything to me, prepared, just take it, just relish. Don't bother about all these things. So... So we should understand the value of appearance of such kind of personalities like Gurudev, Anantadas Babaji, Naran Maharaj. They, they emphasized Vraj Bhakti, Vraj Prem, Madhurya Rasa, this Paraki above, hidden, loving affairs between Radha and Maharaj. They just scrutinized us. <coughs> <coughs> but because I have a monkey mentality, you know, I want to know so many things. Monkey mind. Monkey mind. Yes. And I want to know, because of just one acharya, just two, three of them, one, two, three books, it's boring. You know. But this is monkey mind. Mm. Sanchari, we are calling all is changing. But the point is that we should use the opportunity and first of all we should recognize that and accept <laughs> that opportunity. So just some brief things just to say how things are going on. Because each acharya is left in to the next one <laughs> to, to describe more more and more in details according to the time. Adunikava. It, it calls Adunikava according to the time, circumstances, and specific events. How is it? Adunikava. Adunikava is according to the, we, we, say, we can say modern times, present time. Because we cannot understand the language. A way of expressions, the logic, a few centuries ago, is completely another way. Mm. And speci- and specifically, this kind of scriptures are written in a hidden way for very qualified person. And we need the help that someone explain us to point out, look, look, look this, read it again, read it again, read it again, you don't understand, read it again, what is inside. Mm. Mm. So, 
we are very fortunate that we have such a person who is always repeating the same thing. Be fixed, be fixed, be fixed, be fixed, be fixed, be fixed. Be fixed. <laughs> And I'm showing you yes, in what to do first. Mm. And that's all. Don't make complicated. Mm. But mm. monkey mind mm. likes mm. to jump. Mm. But it's okay. Mm. When we become tired of this mind, mm. jumping mentality, mm. then we will sort. Mm. We say, okay, I'll leave you. Okay. I leave you, I don't want to have anything anymore with you. I'm sorry, you are you, are you but I'm me. Mm. So, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you so sweet. It, I want to share from another angle, which is also very sweet. We hear that he, uh, Rupa Manjari is the leader of all Manjaris. Mm. service. So also we see when these personalities come down to this planet together with Radhika, when she comes together with Moha, when they come together as Gauranga and Gaurangi, then also Rupa Mandari is also the leader of all other <coughs> saints. And who are these saints? Sanatana Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Lokana Goswami. We hear all these names of Vaibhata Goswami. They are all the Dasis of Srimati Radhika and they come with a certain service here. So Rupa Goswami, he was so realized in feeling the heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that when he saw how Mahaprabhu danced in front of Lord Jagannath, the Jagannath Puri, he could feel what is Mohan feeling, what is Radhika feeling, and he expressed it in poems. He write poems. So, um, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he, <coughs> but he hiding, he in the beginning he hides them because he feels very shy also to express the deepest feelings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he was living at the ocean in a small hut, you know, made from the leaves from the coconut trees mm -hmm. and then he would write on the palm leaves and then Mahaprabhu once he was snatching the leaf which was hiding under the you know the leaves of the of his hut uh, the roof and he said what are you hiding there this nectar I'm reading it and I'm like touched to the bottom of my heart so that's when we read this and listen about this, even, you know, just a little bit of feelings come that Rupa Goswami's realization about why Mahaprabhu has come to this world and what are his personal relishing moods and feelings are so deep that Chaitanya was so amazed he wanted to share it with all devotees. Mm. He kind of established look, this person who is so humble, who doesn't even go inside the temple because he considers himself fallen and influenced by these, you know, external circumstances, how he came. He felt always very small and very insignificant. But his heart was a mine of jewels. He could like directly perceive Mahaprabhu's feelings and express them. So Mahaprabhu gave this uh, 
empowerment. He said, all the Rudis, you know, they come together at the beach. Now I want to let you know that this Mahirupa is so dear to me because he can feel what I feel and I will give this person the, the service to distribute all what he has written down to the world. So this is also how Rupa Goswami became the leading, realized person at that time already. And then later he write down everything by hand with a feather or something simple. And then these were like a stack of leaves. And then this was distributed and taken to again back to the devotees who were in Bengal because he was stationed later on in Vrindavan. <coughs> he was writing this all here in Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very touching history also to understand how it came that we are here having this book now mm -hmm. and how it came into existence. <coughs> because Bhakti is, is a disciple of Guru Bhagavad as we have heard so many times. They are Rupa Mandari and Shukasi And again, the disciple will express the feeling of the Guru in a more, you know, deeper way than sometimes the Guru will express himself or herself. Because they are, you know, a confidential subject about divine love. But the love So it is a very, uh, it's like a never ending love story expressed to the people of this world so they can somehow become attracted and like to, uh, you know, also be part of this love story. And also, from the essence, they dilute little, little drops so we can digest them. Like when you have an essence of spices in the kitchen. You know, these are like very intense flavors. And you cannot use all the uh, spices in, in the essence, right? What do we do? When we have a box of spices, we have prepared you know, different, different ingredients and then you have everything like a very strong spice mixture. So what you do when you put it in the soup, you have to mix it with water. So also these things is like, not change, but made uh, to understand and to feel. And that is what our Guru is also doing. He is giving this knowledge of this feelings, it's not the knowledge of the mind or of the head. These are feelings of Radha and Mohan. He's giving from his heart, from her heart. And directly, he always says, touch the nose, nose directly. Don't go like this. We can go with the finger around the head and touch the nose. Or we go like this. We can understand Krishna, 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 and we come to Radhika. No. Come to and understand how her love for Moha is the direct way to go back to the spiritual path, to connect with her. Because she is the one that Moha is taking chapter of. So Rupa Goswami, he was giving all these details how to connect to the divine couple for the soul. And we are, and he is giving it together with Sanatha Goswami, his brother, and then the Seshnab sister. Because all these things, they can be understood on these two, two different ways. One, one way is from the body, from the Sadhakadeya, and one is from the soul, from our spiritual self. So when he is speaking here, how he gave in this book everything, then, yeah, like you said so nicely, we are getting it from our teachers in the way that we can access it, have digestion of it, and practice it in our times. 
けど、手書を貸してさ、先生に教えてさ、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、Their services. And it's not something,、uh, how do you say? Actually, it's not so complicated. But you need someone who loves you so much, they want to give it to you. Even if you don't understand it, but they don't care. They give it to you anyway. That is the mercy of Shiguru. Because he loves the soul and he wants the soul to go where they belong, where they are having feelings in their relationship to Rana and Moha and all the sisters and all the Vrindavan. So it always starts with the soul consciousness, our sadhana, to how to always remember who we are. This is called Sambanda. And then It goes you know, through more and more love, purification, and eagerness.、Mm-hmm. It goes to the stage of <coughs> Abhideya. And Rupa Goswami or Rupa Mantra is giving this Abhideya, means divine body consciousness. Of, it's not only I am a soul. Like Advaita d a s says, I have realized that I'm the soul. I have some you know, things in my heart that I am you know, not of this world forever. I am someone else who comes from a different realm. And there is also peacefulness. But who am I then? You know, when I'm an u n d e r level of the soul, then what to do? What does the soul do? What is the. Feeling of a soul who w a n t to realize their divine you know, form. And this process is called Abhideya. It means you get the Deha that is fit to work or to be in or to be. In the spiritual senses, in the spiritual world.、Mm-hmm. And then, when you have this body, we would have given these you know, channels to be you know, practiced. He gives this also initiation into a spiritual body, in the spiritual world. He is instructing and guiding us there to develop this. It's a feeling, it's a shift. We were speaking, we were speaking two days about this paradigm shift.、Mm-hmm. Then, how do I behave? How do I feel in such a divine body? How do I look like? What is my dress? What is my name there?、Mm-hmm. We were discussing just yesterday with Mira. Yeah, in this world, I am Mira. This is my son, Akadea. And I have been through this and that story and this and that drama and this and that karma. Good, I know it. I want to go beyond it. Then who am I? When I am on the level of the soul and entering into the mercy of getting a spiritual existence, so to say, you know, revealed by my Gurudev, by my Gurudev. She is saying, Come, come with me. I show you the way. I show you your service. And that is also what r a g u n a d a s m u s w a m i is explaining here. On the, you know, in the following of r a g u of his guru, of his guru. Explaining, now I am here in this world. How can I always enter into my divine existence? And who am I there? Then I have another name. I'm not r a g u n a d a s m u s w a m i I'm Tulsi Manjali.、Mm-hmm. I'm a disciple of Rupa Manjali.、Mm-hmm. So that's a completely different level of existence that we can now, we have the chance now, the Lucy of Tulsi Manjali, to connect with it. To develop feeling for that. To enter into the service, the eternal being. 
that I am, that I feel that I am. Together for together service. You start living there. And that is called Prema Prayoja. So it's the sadhana, it's like a practice that is cleaning the mirror of the heart, what we sing in front of Anamajana, Chaitur Darpanamajana, cleaning the mirror of my heart. And then, with all these different new possibilities of a, you know, Chitta Vritti, a pure mind, and a mirror like heart. Then Guru Manchari, we can see not only her, but also myself in that mirror. So that is the divine process that uh, Rupa Goswami came to give, and he, you know, he tried to express it. And it's very, you know, a special art to be empowered to express it. And it's an ocean. It's an ocean of love and, you know, the nectar of immortality that is in there. And not only immortality, not only to be relieved of a temporary existence that has been repeating in itself in this world, you know, the cycle of samsara. It's not only a relief of not being, you know, having to be born again in new bodies, and new countries, and new times. It's the desire to express love <coughs> eternally and to be invited into that realm of divine love. So it's a, it's a wonderful thing and our Gurudev is so merciful that he is giving us essence of the essence of the essence of the essence, of the essence, of the essence. because he's He's so merciful, he has some feelings of his glory, of his glory, and there, and there, and there, up, down, or up to the feelings of Shemata. Who wants us to be Divine love is inviting us and preparing us so we can be with her forever. And that is the goal of Vira Samrita Sin. And then we feel another feeling. Not only I am safe, I am happy, I feel good to be a I want to learn or feel in my spiritual self and to express myself for the person I am. I have a question. Yes. Ich Verstehst du, also ist das eine, eine Erinnerung, ein Hineinwachsen ähm, oder ist es ein komplett neuer Zirkel in dieser Grundkampagne Namen der Welt? Beides. I translate. Ja, es ist sehr theoretisch. So she is asking, is this a complete new uh, existence or is this a memory of something? that was before. But the question I think is, am I already this or am I growing into a new existence? Ne? War ich da schon immer oder bin ich da jetzt ganz neu? So Gordon was answering like this. Because we are eternal soul, it is already part of our being. That we have, you know, this possibility. And also, some of this is already expressed in our being, in our nature, because we have. We are part of Shimadeva. We are the divine parts. But this 
to to grow or to receive that uh, swadho is also completely <coughs> because it is something that we get as a gift of love of Shrimati Radhika at this time. So it's like we can start from the body and the soul. We are the soul, but we have forgotten. So when we remember and want to live in this consciousness, we get closer to ourselves. But from the soul consciousness, says we have a choice. No? Like, for example, you have a piece of paper and there's many things written, like your life story, of 10 million lives, let's say, you know, it's a lot. So all of a sudden, when you come in the soul consciousness, it is empty again. It's blank. Because you realize, you realize that was not me. That was just like an experience to grow into my, you know, to again develop the desire to be. The one who I am. So, at the soul level, you can also, that's only my example, you have also no, no, perfect you, example. You, can, really <laughs> you realize it. <laughs> because I just perfect have example. a stupid mind. <laughs> but that's how it helps, it helps me. It's like a book of lives, mm. and all of a sudden, no, perfect, the pages yeah. are empty. Mm. Yeah. And you can yeah. restart, yeah. It's like reboot it. Yeah. But the book is there, you know, we are the soul, we have this capacity, we have this, uh, how do you say, it's our nature. Yeah. We want to write something there, we want to be the soul. And then the rasas is not only one melody, there's many ways how you can express your love as a cowherd, boy, mm -hmm. as a parental feeling. Mm -hmm. These feelings are also here already in this world, right? Mm -hmm. We gather, we always want to have sweet feelings. Mm -hmm. We know these feelings, how father feels, mm -hmm. how mama feels. Mm -hmm. We have them internally in our hearts mm -hmm. and we are developing them here. So now, Rupa Goswami or Rupa Madri is giving us, you know, the chance to to come into these feelings in the divine way <coughs> and apply them <coughs> in the local realm. <coughs> but we cannot do it in this body. We do it in the spiritual body, the spiritual senses. And that has been given to us as a merciful gift by our Guru Parampara. Actually, it comes directly but it's delivered through the Guru Pampara to us. So at, at one, some, you know, once I was very dull and then Guru I felt, ah, I will never connect with my spiritual senses. I feel I'm so stuck in this bodily consciousness and monkey mind. And to encourage me, Guru said, you are already there. Ah, okay. It's shining through you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I feel it, I see it, I see it there. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's beyond the duality of the mind mm -hmm. to get this point. Mm -hmm. Because it's not growing into something foreign. Mm -hmm. It is like remembering that I am the soul, and then from that platform, I want to. You know, serve in a, a certain way, mm -hmm. and that way also I don't have to speculate. You know, because we are here with Guru Manjari. She is already a sign of Shri She has a servant, mm -hmm. so I just cling to her dress mm -hmm. and help, try to help her in her services. Right? It's a very it's a very simple thing that to grow into something that you have, like the gift to be. Please, you enlighten us. No, no, it, it is really so practical in what you said. It's really very practical for understanding, but it's very clear, right? Mm -hmm. to go into, in another direction. Just, yeah, yeah, it's very, very, very practical. Because so many devotees are confused actually about this. And what does it mean, free will? Free will 
is the point where we are choosing which relationship. And this is the reason why we have free will. Because with free will, we have to choose to whom we want to love. Yeah, exactly. Very nice. Love and free will are connected. Not free will because I want something. I want to choose to whom I want to love. When I choose it, job is done. Yes. This is the proper use of free will. So many things. I have free will. I have right for my free will. This free will. That free will. No, free will is just for the love. I want to love you. I want to love you. This is my free will. No, I don't. This is also free will. And like Suniti you very, very practically explained, when we come to the soul consciousness, then we start really what we really want. You start in an empty book. You the letters are there. No pictures, no pictures, only a guru mantra. If you want to love, you put there guru mantra is helping us. Yeah, and pray and suffering for this. Please help me. Yeah, And this is personal. This is personal way of approaching in relationship. Otherwise, all other things are impersonal and my own. Proper using of free will. This is personal thing of the soul. And love is also personal thing. And it has to be properly directed. That's all. And then just nourish this relationship, nourish, 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 don't go left, right, up and down, left, right, up and down. And just, I choose this, and I will attain ultimate goal of this world, of, of this desire. Yes, love is a choice. Love is a choice. So in love no one can preach us. No one can convince that you have to love him. You have to love him. Preaching is for God consciousness, you know. But for love there is no preaching. It's a free will, free choice, and we can just share it. Thank you. Many a thing. Yes, it's a better is. It's so realized also. So, I'll just begin. By some grace, I don't know why, I'm starting to see uh, clearly that I'm not the body, I'm not the mind. And, and then um, some strong leaning starting to begin. And um, also some feelings starting to come. And it's changed always. Like, Uh, my attention goes to that and then it goes again because of some habits to to outer things and to my bodily consciousness, bodily consciousness so and um, um, but somehow also I'm it's not any more satisfying so a deeper longing there and lose interest in any other things more and more but also these habits going on to give the intention to to something to become some joy outside mm -hmm. somewhere and, mm -hmm. and, uh, but still it's not anymore really fulfilling mm -hmm. so and that was the point where this longing starting more and more and more to come here and to me good here because if I give my attention to that to what I am I still know, don't know my form but I know I'm not the body and I'm not the mind mm -hmm. but in fact when I give my attention to that some feelings Some feelings starting to flow, and yeah, I want. I'm not able to fix myself, my attention on that. I know I am that, but I don't able to fix completely on that. So um, that's why I'm coming here to learn and uh, yeah, and to know who I'm in this form. Who oh, you are in eternally? Eternally, yeah, yes, and how to how to how to move on in this. Mm. 
He came to us. <laughs> Gurudev, actually, they, they have a long relationship. And Gurudev was traveling in Europe. Uh, then also so you came in one of the Blood Mine back in that yoga place of Shukadev. And then also uh, Gurudev gave him mercy and he said to you, I see you in Vrindavan. I think that what you telling it was um, around to eight years before. Yeah. So eight years later. Like yeah. And before by the grace of Namsabuta Priya we, we called uh, around yeah, fifteen minutes before so he always called me then and I was learning yoga then. Ah, so he, he gave me all the He had also <laughs> oh, yeah, he, he had, uh, <laughs> contact with the devotees and then he developed yeah. from there. And now was the right time to see yeah. how you are guided. Yeah. So I'm, un- I'm, I'm unable to do uh, to go sure. further now by myself because yeah, I'm not doing anything on that level. So, but I need. To yes. this is best position. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, 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 I never do anything, so I just can. Uh, uh, but I ask for prayer. Ask for the mercy. Yes. <laughs> so. Sri Rupa Goswami has given the world sublime scientific rasa scriptures. Books like Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu and Ujvala Nilamani, in which he taught the practicing devotees. The truth about rasa, spiritual flavors, prema, love of God, and sadhana, devotional practice, so that some fortunate practitioners have been able to enter into the confidential truths of Godhead. He has also written prayers Praises, poetry, and theater plays, in which he revealed the spiritual flavors of Radha and Krishna's pastimes, and the mood of their maidservants. Manjari Baba. Sri Ramananda Raya. The foremost of Rasika devotees in the world. First read these masterpieces. To Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, near the cottage of Sri La Haridasa Thakur, Shri La Thakur, no beso no chikote de. Kore wa o yamasemashita. In Chaitanya Chamri, uh, Harita Amrita, 
Shri Krishna Das Kabiraja writes. Shri Krishna Das Kabiraja writes. Hearing this, Ramananda Raya submitted to the Lord's lotus feet. Yes, yes, sure, me too. Uh, so, Sri Ramananda Raya, the foremost of Rasika devotees in the world, first read these masterpieces. To Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu near the cottage of Sri La Haridasa Thakur. In Chaitanya Yamrita, <coughs> Sri Krishna Das Kaviraja writes. Hearing this, Ramananda Raya submitted to the Lord's lotus feet. I praise the poetry of Rupa with a thousand mouths. This is not poetry. It is a stream of nectar. It contains all the definitions of drama. And the quintessence of all philosophical conclusions. These wonderful descriptions show his loving expertise. And when the ears hear it, they become dizzy of ecstatic love. Without your power, no ordinary living entity can speak like this. I suppose you are empowering him to speak like that. Wonderful, sweet exchange of love when we hear which has been written down and given to us in Chaitanya Jaya. So here we can imagine they are on the beach of Jagannathpuri. They are at the hut of the Rupa Goswami is there. Ramananda Roy is there, many other devotees are there, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is there. And that is like, you know, we have this American group here now, right now, and one of them writes poems. Mark. Mark. No, he's no Saint Mark. Blessings from Guru is Saint Mark. So Guru is listening, he likes poems, and he feels they have value for all of us. So he's like telling all of us, I'm gonna, you know, frame this poem for me to read and for all of us to remember about the monkey mind. We've been hearing it. So that confer that feeling and that situation 600, about 600 years ago. In that situation, 
Ramananda Roy is reading the poem of uh, uh, Rupa Goswami. So I mean, she in there. To Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. To Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And all the devotees are there in the circle, and they are like, wow, what did he write? Mm-hmm. How can he feel you? I cannot. I did not feel like this before. Mm-hmm. But he yeah, right. I have new mm-hmm. feelings. Your realization is mm-hmm. And Brahmananda Roy says, mm-hmm. My Lord, mm-hmm. only he can write this because you empowered him. No mm-hmm. one can write and feel this. Mm-hmm. Because this must have come from the skin. And you have given this to Rupa Goswami mm-hmm. to share with all of us mm-hmm. and exchange the feelings mm-hmm. of your deepest feelings. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, like, the story goes on. And that is so beautiful to feel also how they have been together, like we are sitting together, yeah, wanting to feel more about our soul's journey, our, you know, our goal of love. And they are also doing that. They come to this world and there is Chaitanya, Radha Mohan, and is revealing through the devotees, through Rupa Goswami, his deepest, deepest feelings. So I feel inspired because it's a, it's a picture, it's a feeling, it's an exchange of love. This kind of change of love starts actually long time before Jagannath Puri. Because in the moment when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu met Rupa, Goswami, okay, Rupa, he immediately recognized who is really, he immediately recognized his eternal associate. And it was very touchy meeting, full of cryings, full of embraces. And in that moment, I don't know, in Prayag or somewhere. Yeah. Prayag. Yeah. And then what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did? He gave instructions to Rupa in short hints. Essences. Yes, in short hints, he gave him essence. He didn't explain one hour, two hours, all subject matters and so on. He just gave him the seed of all rasa, tattva, and said him, go and write. Then, why is this very important? Because this is this kind of delivering the truth is going like this. It's not going with explaining so much details, but just giving the hints. Because these hints are seeds and they have to grow in the heart of the disciple. Mm. I remember when sometimes I, I met Gurudev in the beginning, I said, please explain this, by explaining that, 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 he said, no, I don't want to explain you. I don't want to draw you. Mm. Draw you? Draw every detail. No, 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 I don't want to draw you everything. Like a plan. Like a plan that you just memorize, memorize, memorize. I'm just giving you the hints. And you have to relish it and realize it. Meditate on Meditate on it. Use your Diksha Mantras, use your spiritual identity. And then, if you are properly connected with me, in Radha Mohan, in Radha Guru Vada, then things will start to sprout. Mm-hmm. So I took really, really seriously that. And I, can, I immediately remember how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu did the same thing to Rupa. And from these short instructions which he received from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he wrote such a huge book of Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Mm-hmm. No, just from the hints. He realized that, and here we can find ultimate 
<coughs> situation also in Jiva, where even Ramananda Roy, who is Vishaka, he cannot believe this person wrote all these things out of his re- realization. And all, only his conclusion was, it's only possible by, by your mercy. So we should realize that mercy in our personal life. <coughs> then we will feel secure because we, we will have our own realizations according to the charges or according to our Guru. And one thing is also, why this is very important? It's a story, but it shows the relationship how Guru and disciple I'm failing so much. <laughs> How Guru and disciple are functioning in a very subtle way, not in the gross way. Yes. And one more thing is important. When Rupa Goswami receives these instructions, Rupa Goswami the instructions, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said to him, and Rupa Goswami said, okay, this is very, uh, this is great blessing that you gave me this instruction. But I cannot fool this instruction if you not give me your full blessings to me. Mm-hmm. So, the instruction is one thing. This is already great. Blessing. But the blessing and empowerment to fulfill instruction is also another. Mm-hmm. When these two points are together, then disciple can fulfill instructions with full blessings of the Guru. And then when this words from Rupa, very humble words, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard, then he put his lotus feet on his head. And now you have all, full, all my blessings to the utmost. And then Rupa Goswami. He didn't let how I receive instructions and I want to fulfill it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't work like that. Mm-hmm. First, he approached very humbly because his humility gave him opportunity to receive these instructions. And then humbly he asked, okay, thank you very much for the instructions. I will do everything, but without, without your full mercy, full blessings, I will not do it. So, this is the progression, mm-hmm. actually. Mm-hmm. How we also have a relationship with Gurudev, and how we also have expectations. <coughs> because we should prepare our consciousness for instructions, but also blessings for that. And sometimes it takes a time. Mm-hmm. It's not going immediately. Mm-hmm. So many beautiful things we can do. Mm-hmm. And also, yeah, like you said, you have the <coughs> same thing that the fear is not the same. This is Rupa, he introduced them also, and I want all of you to bless him. I want all of you to get the, you know, to give him all of your love, all of your blessings, all of your goodwill, feelings, touching, you know, his, you know, understanding that I want him to be a tool, an instrument, and all of his lessons. Mm. That was also a very nice scene, I remember. Yes, yes. Very nice. Uh, it's also showing us nowadays when we are sitting together here that we are also giving, you know, all of us certain, certain sevas, but all of us who see that one person gets a service, we are also, uh, you know, 
Think positively, yes, wow. You know, 私たちもポジティブに考える必要があります。この聖母はグレーブかけていただいたので。<笑><笑>やってくださいと強く言ったんですけれども、ある人がプラサダを配ってくださいと言われて、これやってくださいと言ったんですけど、それは祝福のシャワーのようなものなんです。これはプレーマープラサーダなんだからきれいにしてでみんなこれを見てくださいそれはすごくお風呂に乗ってすごく早くできて全部配ることもできてきれいに掃除もするんですエグレではあなたのことを見ているすべての人を見ていますあなたは分からないかもしれないけど。部屋に閉じこもって、これをただ考えるだけやめてください。これは二体です。あ、この人だけが味を得てるじゃないかと、そんなふうにマインドが言ってくれる時がありました。私にはないの、私は辞表を得てないじゃないかと、そう思うことある。ブルーデンはこの人だけになっているじゃないかと、そんなふうなメンタリティが起こることがあるんです。でもブル,ブルーデンは違います、すべての人に見ています。ウミガメのようなウミガメのようなものでみんなのタバコを産んでそれちゃんと海に行けるようにそういうふうに見ていく私たちはメディテーションを育む必要がある。フィリップからミルクを得て、バッティの海に行く。どうしたらすべてのものが行きます。マハプラギの心の望み、私は庭師です。で、その世界中の庭をやっている。お世話しなきゃいけない。大変なこと。ね、それぞれのことのある希望でを選んで、それは永遠の関係で。で、この聖話を手助けしたり、ルーパーマンジャリ。彼女は、すべての小さな甘い神聖な。ラダのリーダーです。そういうことは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、We have some program we designed today. We make very hard work in the garden, very strong thing. s t o r m s I don't know what the name is. t h o r n s yes. And then、uh, spontaneously on this day, a group from、um, um, Schweidenalp come.、Mm. On this day, then, oh my God, today we have very strong work. <laughs> But now we can, we can change. Maybe we make, <coughs> make this work tomorrow. <coughs> Why it's not nice for guests to come only short times of hours. No, no, no. We, we like to, to, to make with you. Then by the end, they say, 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Me, sorry, 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 sorry. No, no, no. And then they say, um, now they uh, know what is um, community, mm-hmm. right? They say they have different parts. Some are work only in the garden, some are only in the house. And say, no, this experience for, from this all together make this Eva was so nice and so helpful. And they say, this is this what they miss in this uh, community. Also. Mm. Very nice example. Wow. And, um, yes. Yeah. If you can imagine Krishna Chandra with a chainsaw. <laughs> I'm not kidding. With a chainsaw. <laughs> Without your power. No ordinary living entity can speak like this. I suppose you are empowering him to speak like that. The Lord later personally confirmed that Sri Ramananda Roy was not mistaken. The Lord said, When I met him at Prayaga, my mind was pleased with his qualities. I am very pleased with his poetry. With all its embellishments. Without such poetry, there can be no preaching of rasa. Everyone should be merciful to him. And bless him with this boon. Let him always describe the Prema Rasa of Raja Lila. I want to share something. I want to somehow bring this back again to our world. Mm-hmm. And our situation, yesterday we were sitting in the whole room and the Lord packed again, it was about 10, 10, 15 in the evening. And it was a similar situation between all of us because the Lord expressed his strong desire. He needs our help. He has the son, Roshan. And he wants to send him to Europe. Mm. He wants all the disciples to work together to support his son. He is sending him as his representative, as his son, but also he is sending him because he wants to prepare all our working together with this family, he says there's the genetic family, his sons and daughters, and there's the spiritual family, all of us who come here by arrangement, divine arrangement, to become part of Gurudev's family. So he says, we have to prepare, that we all work together nicely, we have to develop a beautiful relationship, so that this Radha Mohan's service will go on even after the time when I will not be physically present. So that was also a very touching moment. And I feel that Gurudev is expressing how he wants us to become one family. Because he said that it's very important that we feel each other we connect and we support each other. 
He says, also, he needs your help. Share your love. Take care of each other. Don't say it externally. He says, it's all about the service of Radha Mahan. It must go on smooth, smoothly. And for this, we need a very good cooperation and very sweet support of each other. This came to me because Rudy was very He's very eager about this point at the moment. He wants us to voluntarily express the feelings to welcome each other in any situation. Then it was also another incident. Uh, in the evening we had again the water. Somehow there was a water leak. Last night no drop and also this morning. And then um, then uh, Sachinanda Bhaya came. We were talking about this and sharing the love. And he says, you know, even though I never speak it to you, but I will be there for you forever now. And I know that you are always forever there for me. We don't need to speak about it now because it's not the situation right now. But I feel it for you and you should know that I also feel it. You know, I feel myself sheltered in your love and you can feel yourself sheltered in my love forever. And I thought this was such a beautiful, heart-touching moment. And I really felt it when he said it. You know? I felt it. I was visioning myself at that moment. One day I will come to Vrindavan to also leave my body here. I will. The moment will come. It's my desire. And I thought such an anabaya will be there for me. So you prepare for this now. It's not you know, only a thing between Gurudev and, and the temple, it's between all of us in the process and in you know, developing the relationships and this is a home. We have a home. I mm-hmm. look so happy, so glad. Where should I go? I have only this place. <laughs> Tulasi tells Swamiji. It was by Rupa Manjari's grace. That I am now fixed in your service. And now I desire to see the red lack on your lotus like foot sores. And not just seeing. Sand, sandriksha. Sandidriksha. Sandidriksha, which is completely seeing. And when I can admire mm-hmm. that red luck more than when it shines on a blackish background yeah that is also good <laughs> how to see because he's, he's expressing that you have given me the mercy now he is back and we are back in the spiritual senses, in the uh, exchange between Rupa Manjari and Tulsi Manjari. And she says, it's not only I want to see it in my visions, I want Sakshat Darshan. That's another word of that. That's some deep 
Sakshat means eternal, and thou shalt see. That means not for me envisioning it, but feeling and watching and being. And that is Tosi Mandara's uh, desire. And seeing it on the head of Krishna. Uh, so she's giving again the whole Lila, what we have heard before. The foot lag Lila. That when is Sri Matiratika food like the most beautiful to see for the mantras? When Krishna is so much in love and so much overwhelmed by feelings of Sri Matiratika's food service, he is also wanting to paint it like a mantra. And he loves so much to be submissive. In that feeling, he's overwhelmed. He becomes, in his feelings, like a worshipper of Srimad Radhika and takes like a seva. Huh? He likes to be also Radhika's son. And takes the lotus feet on his head. And that is the meditation that uh, Tulsi Mandari is desiring, not only to see or hear, and also feel it and be there in that moment. Yeah, this is the perfection of seeing, complete seeing. This is good seeing, really good seeing. Well, not only I see Radhika's foot leg, but the purpose of that foot leg is to be on Krishna's head or on his chest. Or on my arm. Or on my arm. So, the function of leg is to attract Krishna. And the function of leg is to show him the passion which is coming from the radical's heart. Mm. And he is so attractive as submissive to her love that he is putting her lotus feet, like something he said, on the hair, on the chest. He is kissing his feet and Marjorie's all the time by observing this. And this is perfection, satsa darshan. Perfection of seva. Perfection of my seva is not only to put the leg around you, but there is a specific meaning of this leg. And when the leg is on his head, then my seva is also perfect. And the seeing of this scene is also perfection for me. So Radhanwan is calling. No? Well, it goes on to actually explain. Oh, we can we can go on tomorrow. We yeah. can repeat and go into that point. Yeah. It's a beautiful yeah. meditation. Yeah. Jai Jai Shri Ram.